okay, I've got the motor out. And uh, I mentioned a few steps that I didn't take. I mentioned drain the engine oil and remove the oil filter and the tranny oil. I didn't do none of that. I was able to get it out, uh, out of the way of the manifold. I, both times I pulled these motors, I left the, the belt here and the alternator on and the oil filter and the oil in the motor. Uh, but being the second time that I pulled the motor, third time, one, two, yeah, three times leaving the tranny in, it's pretty difficult to pry it away. Ultimately, it may be better to take the time and mess with everything else and remove all the stuff, like the transmission, pull it out with the motor. You're really kind of chancing it, but uh, it worked. Awful hard, messing around prying for about a half an hour, this and that, and trying to get it up and out. And These transmissions really bend on their mounts, tilt, they can really tilt on their mounts. And whether that's good or not, I don't know, I'm not really sure. There's a bunch of rubber down there for the motor mount, as you can see. But yeah, the engine's out, and uh, now to pull this blue car back and uh, set this motor down into the white car. Again, the steps that I took was I removed the battery first and the holder. Step number two, I removed the radiator. Number three, the volume meter and the air hoses that were on top of the motor. I removed the uh, AC compressor, that's down here. See that down there, kind of. Uh, let me get the light here. Then I removed the exhaust manifold. Exhaust manifold over here. Then the intake manifold. The intake manifold, which sits right down there. And uh, then I was going to drain the engine and the transmission and uh, remove the oil filter. But I figured the uh, transmission doesn't have any fluid coming out of it on this end, and which it doesn't. It didn't drip anything. So I didn't remove the speedometer cable. I left the transmission just like it is. Uh, and then I removed the engine bolts and the left motor mount, which was right there. Left motor mount was right there. And there was three nuts on the motor mount and just it came off and then I just uh, raised the engine took all the bolts out of the motor there's four bolts holding this motor on down here is, let me get the light again sorry four bolts okay one right there two three directly across from it and four down there but there's some little ones too that hold down the plate see that plate right there there's a hole right there for the one of the little ones down here there's a bracket down here that needs to be done this was one of the main four bolts but this is a smaller side these are 14 uh, excuse me I think 17 millimeter these are 14 millimeters anyway you take all them out you pry it out and uh, but man prying it out you really or tilting that transmission and prying it away from that shaft. Uh, uh, the shafts are fine. They didn't get messed up. They didn't break or strip or the splines didn't get gnarled or anything like that. But it's tricky. This is an Aspire motor, 95. What came out of this was a Festiva motor. I'm wondering if this is a little longer. It seemed like it was a little bit harder to get out because maybe it was just a little bit longer. In other words, from there to the other end. Maybe I'll measure them and see. Because if it is longer, it may be awful hard to get it back in here in this white car. Again, now I'm gonna back the blue car up. Back the blue car up enough. And then pull the white car forward to put that motor into the white car. I'll get back with you soon.